will open the door to a new class of user interface. Such a technology will let users feel a visceral connection with their virtual hand. And a metaphor of direct physical interaction with the virtual world will prove interaction designers to give us new user interfaces. We present a robust, efficient, long and short range hand tracker, which, while just another step towards this goal, has allowed us to prototype new experiences which help us to envision this radically new future. From direct analog input to physical interactions that come close to a haptic experience, our paper introduces the algorithmic tools required to deliver such state-of-the-art accuracy and efficiency. Our system takes 3D points directly from the depth sensor and fits a smooth surface model through the data using the Levenberg algorithm for energy minimization. We now slow the sequence down to see each Levenberg iteration. We see that, unlike ICP, our algorithm updates both correspondences in blue and pearls in concert, meaning that three to four iterations are sufficient for accurate tracking. We initialize our proposals in every frame, meaning that we can quickly recover from tracking failures. We compare quantitatively to other factors on standard test sequences, and our accuracy exceeds and matches state of the art by the HPAC system from Tegla Saki et al. Compared qualitatively to their work, we see that on high end hardware, both systems cope well with low occlusion and struggle with this. Our reinitializers allow for slightly quicker recovery from tracking failure. Our true advantage over each track is in greater efficiency. Stemming in part from faster conversions, drone optimization yields over ICP. This is despite the use of a more detailed, smooth surface model rather than just a collection of cylinders. Further efficiency comes from massively subsampling the data, which surprisingly yields very little impact on accuracy. This allows us to run the tracker on just a lightweight tablet. With this quest for efficiency, it may appear surprising to insist on a smooth surface model, but the smoothness of the model is necessary to allow the use of the running bar algorithm. Robust performance requires a strong initializer to complement the tracking component. Our work has reduced, but not eliminated, the limitations that hand trackers have been struggling with since 1993, occlusion, segmentation failure, and noisy data. Nonetheless, we believe the components we describe will form an important part of future real-time tracking systems. We conclude with the collection of experiences. Our primary user interaction paradigm is direct physical manipulation of virtually fit interface elements such as buttons, dials, and sliders. Anything the designer feels might leverage the user's real-world experience 